Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to navigate the NSV Connect portal for a customer administrator. Logging into the NSV Connect portal as an administrator brings you to the company dashboard. On this screen you can see an overview of the company's activities. A graph and chart of the last two weeks of calls can be seen along with the last five recent calls and voicemails. Along the top there are four of your most commonly accessed features. Starting from the left is the link to your users. From here you can manage all the users on your account and see their user names, email addresses, user role, and which groups they belong to. You can click on the edit button or their name to edit their settings. The next button is for your contacts. From here you can narrow down the list by starting to type a few letters of their name or number to find the one you want. If you want to find a contact for a specific user's phone book, you can choose the user from this list. Choosing the empty user will show you the company contacts, which are available to everyone. You can further narrow the list by selecting to only see the company contacts, non-favorites or just colleagues. You can add a contact using the Add Contact button. You can export or import the contacts, or change the view from a list view to a tile view. In tile view, you can edit a contact using its edit button and add an additional number to that contact using the plus button. Clicking on one of the number icons will allow you to click to call that contact. The next button is the voicemail button. The list of voicemails in the system will appear and you can narrow the list by the caller's number, by a specific user the voicemail was left for, or by selecting the specific mailbox. You can also choose to only look at old or new messages. Clicking the red X will delete the voicemail from the system. You can also download the message to your computer locally. Messages are kept for 90 days in the system. The last button on the dashboard is the device button. This shows you all of the devices you have available and their current status. A blue status bar means the device is connected and available for use. A red status means the device itself is offline. You can search for a device by typing the first few letters or numbers of the device, or only look at hard phones, soft phones or trunks. Back on the dashboard, the graph and chart can be adjusted to show only a specific user or group. Only an administrator has this access. A regular user can only see their own calls and voicemails. You can promote a regular user to have group monitor access to allow them to see all calls in the group they are a member of. Hovering on the chart will show the numbers for outgoing or incoming calls respectively. Clicking on the account icon will show you the account information. On the first tab is the account details. The next tab shows you the contact information for your account. This includes a contact number email address as well as your account addresses and E911 locations. You can edit any of this information using the appropriate edit button. The next tab is the federations you belong to. If you need to link your account to another account please contact your NSV Connect reseller or put in a support ticket. The next tab is for your music on hold and music on park settings. You can see the available media files in the list on the left. Clicking on the plus button will move it to the selected column where you can choose to use the media file for call parks or just music on hold. Media files here will play in order. The next tab is your contract information and you can download a copy if you need it. The last tab is your payment information. Here you can see the credit card or ACH payment information and change it if you wish. Thank you for watching this video on navigating the NSV Connect portal as an administrator. If you have any questions, please visit our website at nsvconnect.com.